so the van isn't quite as perfected as I wanted it to be before I did this tour but I decided it was about time to do it so we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna show you around my new layout talking about in this tour is in relationship to the old tour I will be doing like a more nicer tour to sort of be my featured tour in the future after I make a couple of itsy bitsy changes and it honestly might not be any different from this tour but I would tell you if you're wondering what the van looked like before or you're new to my channel you might want to check out um, my old tour video which I'll put up a little info card there should be a little circle eye in the corner of this video um, and if you click on that, it'll give you my old tour. I think it's also the featured tour on my site, mostly because I like where I shot it. So I still like that tour, even though I like this layout that the crackers did way better. Um, so anyway, let's start with the fridge. I got this fridge with the van. It is a Dometic fridge. There is no freezer. You can set it to a freezer setting, but that would make the whole thing a freezer. Or you can set it to a fridge setting and that would make the whole thing a fridge. But this is my fridge. It was on a slider. Right now, I just have it sitting on the ground. It's actually sitting on a rubber mat so it won't slide. The problem and with the slider is you need room to like slide it out all the time or you're constantly moving stuff out the way i love having this still in one space i open it and then i can always use the top as a surface to put stuff on store stuff on or anything like that so first of all i have my dometic fridge second of all this is a it's a little bit higher than the dometic at first i think we were trying to make it flush and it ended up a little bit taller but i basically have a shorter cabinet which has been so much better i mean the idea of having that tall cabinet and then having it shoot over it seemed nice except most of the space taken up by the fridge now was the sink that was in here which is gone i no longer have a sink and i'm so much happier with this layout right here because the, the stove is not attached, so I can move it anytime I want. I can also use this as an additional surface, except sometimes if I don't remember to take everything out the fridge, it doesn't work out too well. But I basically have a shorter cabinet, and I feel like I'm using the space in here much more efficiently. Editing Dawn here to say, bigger isn't always better. The problem with underneath the old sink was that the jugs took up most of the space underneath the sink. And then once you put the trash cans down there, there really wasn't much room to actually use it for storage. Now, it is not perfect by any means, but this is actually using most of the space for storage. I have a bunch of stuff under here, some snacks that Mickey is definitely trying to get to. I have some of his fishing line toys under here. I have some cleaning products, including um, my white vinegar, which is mostly what I use mixed with water to wash dishes. Um, I have some teas up here, some extra dishes and stuff. Most of my everyday dishes are still up top, but this is kind of my overflow stuff that I don't use all the time there's cat food under here this as crazy as it looks is actually using the space much better than I was using the space underneath the old cabinet so I'm super happy with it so this is basically my countertop nothing special about it except the cat that's on it trying to oh he's trying to get a twist eye <laughs> Mickey what are you doing so the last time I did a tour, I didn't have a pet. Yes, these are your, your treats. This is not pills. They're just cat treats. And I just keep them at hand so when I need to get him to do something for treats, um, he'll do it. Hey, Mickey, come over here. Come over here. 
So he's been bribed. <laughs> but let's come on back over here. So obviously, like I said, that's the fridge. I've moved the cat treats there. Uh, this is my stove, which again is movable. This is a tray that can come off. You can use butane or propane with this stove. And then as you come over here, those are some utensils. And I actually put those away when I'm driving because they will fall. That's just some protein powder. And then, of course, this is just a decorative plate that I had on the front of the old cabinet. But I have it on the side of this wall here. And then instead of the sink, I just have a strapped down jug. And honestly, this has made me perfectly happy. I do not need a permanent sink. Now, when it comes to water... In between my seat, I also have a second one. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It's fine with me. That gives me 14 gallons of water, which is actually more than what I was carrying before. Before I had a five and a backup five, so I only had 10. And now I have 14. And this works out fine. When I need something under it, I can just move the stove out the way, put something under it because I don't want a lot of water splashing on it. And then when I don't need that, there's not a whole sink like taking up all of the space. So I've liked this layout like way better. Yeah, I can use some, some paint and some finish work. But as far as actual functionality, this is so much better than my old setup. So this is honestly the biggest bed that I've had since I started van life. I have never had a twin size bed. This is a few inches shorter than a twin. It's about as wide as a twin and I kind of love it. Um, on the old layout, the bed terminated after about two feet, so about 24 inches. A twin mattress is somewhere between 36 and 38, I think. So it added almost 10 inches of space and it makes everything under the bed storage. So basically my bed got so much larger by just extending it all the way and then making the end wall storage. And I kind of love it. I love having a bigger bed. Right now it's the cat's bed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just going to stay outside the whole time and he came in. But I love having a much bigger bed. I also never had real bed sheets. I used to always just kind of sleep on a sleeping bag. So now I have actual bed sheets. I have two layers of blankets. My main heating source is blankets, even though I do have a buddy heater down here. But the main, my main heating source has always been blanket so I have two warm blankets plus the sheet that's already on the bed and that's been working out great so right behind the seat here is a folding table that I also use as a desk I also shove my side window covers in here when um I take them out the window in the morning because I really like to open those side windows for Mickey to look out of as well as the front windows and so I'll just shove those window covers here but this folding table is sort of the essence of my new life in that it's my primary desk. I mean, it's usually, I usually pull this out for editing. I don't pull it out too much for cooking. For cooking, I usually just stay here. But for editing, I really like to use this little folding table. A secondary desk is the steering wheel desk, which is also really great for when you're grabbing a quick meal at the drive-thru. But I try not to do that too much anymore. So my van does not have an aux input for my phone and my phone also is a pixel so it actually doesn't have an aux so what I have instead is this little Bluetooth transmitter hooked up to the radio comes on as soon as I unhook it but I have it hooked up to one of these little tape deck aux things and so I put that in that's plugged into a Bluetooth transmitter, and then when my phone connects to this, I can play my phone through the speakers in the car. Of course, because I live in SF, I have a, you know, the San Francisco area. I have a fast track for tolls. Um, I have a quick measuring tape just in case. I have some five gum in case I want something to chew on the road. And I have another extra cat collar because <laughs> you never know when you're going to need those. Like a lot of decisions in this van, a lot of things have been set up for the cat. Um, as you can see, I put a soft cloth in the windowsill, and he has a little toy up there. There's toys all over the place. And that's so he can sit in the windowsill when he likes. It's a nice little soft area. Now in the front there, I don't know how well you can see it, but I have a couple of solar lights that unfortunately he likes to play at with like toys when he's in the mood. Um, so I have two Lucy lights up there and then a solar flashlight. Mickey, stop cuddling the 
camera. <laughs> um, and so those are right up there just so that you can catch sunlight as often as possible. This is a cat toy that like attaches itself to the window. He hardly, hardly ever plays with it. But the funny thing is these two strings that I tied to here, he plays with these all the time. <laughs> So if you're wondering why I have two strings tied there, it's for Mickey. As you can see, he's attacking him right now. He, It's something for him to randomly attack when he's in the mood. Just things to keep him not focused on cords. Um, that's the Jackery bag down there that he just jumped on. <laughs> and, um, so that's the Jackery storage bag for when I have the Jackery stored in there. Um, and then he has this carrier that's attached to the front seat, which I use as a carrier, but he'll also just jump in here. And so it's an additional cat bed, uh, another comfy space for him. And then more on the cat catified portion of the van, of course, his cat tree. So another thing that is the way it is because of the cat is this area up here. So obviously this, this could have gone all the way up and obviously that would have been more storage or I could have used this area up here for storage but i didn't want to do that this is a mickey area um so i have a nice little soft thing up here for him to lay on honestly this is just hopefully blocking his entrance in a cable that's running back there i have a scratching post right here and why because on the other side is the inverter when he's up here he doesn't really think about going past here like he's not going to swing his paw around to get to here so having this scratching post here which is actually velcroed to this um it's just another area for him an area where he can be above everyone and be his superior cat self i kept the idea of an open pantry from like the old build um except this one is actually fitted to the space it's not as neat as it could be but there are pots and pans and all that kind of stuff in here these are my two bottles that i use to wash with this one is a mix of white vinegar and water this one is just water i've shown it in other videos but i've had them both for a long time this is just one of my extra cups that i use for tea um and this is just like pantry stuff um I've been using this avocado oil spray just because I was like, hey, this is this going to be better? Um, and then I have like some extra virgin olive oil and I'm trying to figure out my oil situation. A bunch of seasonings. I have some soups up here. Um, just like miscellaneous stuff, especially stuff that's not going to go bad. Like I rely more on this than i'd like to admit um and this is actually a cup holder that clips to the side of a table and i love that um so that's sort of my pantry stuff you might have seen there's chocolate syrup here it's actually sugar free like low something syrup it cuts a couple of calories i really like to use that to make protein shakes I like, for some reason, I don't like chocolate protein, but if I add like a teaspoon of the sugar-free syrup to vanilla pro protein, it tastes better than the, the stuff that's already made as chocolate. Don't know why, just does. <laughs> All right, and as you come over here, this is just hanging on a little piece of strap that I put here. So this is my dish towel, obviously, and this is my dishcloth which I don't put here till it's kind of dry and then I just kind of hang it here and then in addition to this protein this protein is unflavored so I can mix it in stuff like oatmeal and stuff and it'll just add a little bit of extra protein to it without any flavor whereas I'm gonna move this out the way this protein is vanilla flavored so if I'm actually gonna make like a shake um, this has a little bit of a, a sweeter like taste to it um it's vegan and soy and all of those things i haven't been using it as much as i used to but most of the stuff behind it is my toiletries this is what i put my water in in the morning to wash myself there's a first aid kit an extra pair of glasses um my toothbrush some wipes like all of my like morning toiletries are right here and it's great because it's right beside where the water is so i literally pull this out heat up some water put it in here with some soap drop in a washcloth wash out of this and everything i need is like right here to grab and i only use that stuff in the morning so i don't need to access it all the time and this is basically just an extension cord that's running to the inverter and this makes gives me four accessible plugs that i can use whenever i need it and that's been great and this is just a battery charger for all my ryobi tools and the only reason i have this out and not like stored away with the tools is because 
my vacuum also uses the Ryobi battery. So I need this all the time, especially with a cat, a pet. I have to clean up cat hair and pet stuff and all that other stuff and, and litter tracking. And so <laughs> I need this battery all the time. There is a little bit of space here. So I do tend to like shove stuff in this space that I use a lot. So behind this curtain right here, it's just for bins. I went through a lot of decision making to decide what would work here. And four of these have worked out great. I have never had all of my stuff, including shoes, because one of these bins has shoes in it, all in the same accessible place since I started van life. And I, I, I love having these four bins here. And then back here in the corner beside the bed is two 12 volt ports so I can plug in things that are actually like little 12 volt sockets or let me put that back. I can also plug in one of these things which will give me USB ports and that's a good way to charge my phone at night. Um, sorry about the phone going out of focus on me. There we go, you can see it better. So that's where I charge my phone at night. Uh, it's also where I just throw things up in the corner to charge during the day. I have this light above my bed now. In the old bed build, it was not directly above my bed. I do like this a little bit better because the switch is right here. So when I need light at night, like right over my head, I can just hit the switch really quick. And so I like this placement better. It used to be on a side wall right here in the old layout, cause the old layout was similar, just not the same. And it was just on a side wall beside my bed. And I much like having it over my bed. This just works out so much better. And coming back to the inverter, this is the plug that's running to the extension cord. So it's running to the back and around, and then it goes to that four, um, extension cord thing and it has and it rolls up so there's a really long cord I could even pull that thing out more if I wanted to but that's how I set that up and I have Sparkles the dragon hanging out up there Speaking of my stuffed animal friends, yes, they're still around even though I have a cat. They're getting kind of lost in the corner here. So we got Platy the unicorn, we got Isaac, and then we got Pooh right over here. So they're all hanging out in this corner next to my pillow. So more featuring of cat things right here against the wall is his little bubble book bag, which the door is always open because he'll crawl in here just to hang out. There's so many places for him to hang out in this van if he just wants to hang out and get away. Of course, right now he's hanging out on my bed, but if he just wants to hang out and get away, he has a bunch of spots to do so. And that's one of the reasons I always leave his bag open so that he can crawl in there if he feels like it, which he does a lot of. I have so many leashes. I also have clickers because we're clicker. I'm clicker training him so that he responds to the clicker um and this is my extendable leash he's wearing a leash i have two of these corded leashes um and all that stuff is just you know so i can give him as much freedom or not <laughs> as i want wherever we're parked sometimes i need to keep him really close to the van sometimes he can explore a little bit we're in a de pretty decent spot where he can kind of go in and out the door but as of yet he is not allowed just like outside off a leash when you know we're parked somewhere um i do not trust him to that level yet um so let's come down here to Catland, a part of Catland we haven't talked about there's his litter box so basically right under the front part of my bed is an area that's blocked off just for the cat um yes his litter box is clean um and then i have the scoop right here and then i have some extra unscented unscented litter a little mat here doesn't catch everything but catches a lot it worked better i originally had his litter box underneath the front seat but i knew eventually he would outgrow that and that would be uncomfortable so moving it under here has been good no it's not a problem that it's an open litter box i like that it's an open litter box i think it just makes things easier um but anyway so we have this mat which catches some of his litter and then right over here we have his water fountain which looks like it could use some more water because when it's going slow like that that's usually what it means um and this is always available he does not have an open feed situation but he does have open water um and so like he gets fed on a schedule but water is always available for him just not food 
So I do use my door for storage. I have my little sweep brush right here and dustpan, and then I have my vacuum on this door. This is one of my many extra cat collars. Right now he has a cat collar with a GPS tracker on it, namely a tile. Um, and so that's just in case, if for some reason he slips loose, I do have the means to track him, but this is just a regular collar with a tag on it. And most of the time I put this on him at night so he doesn't have as much on his neck. And then this is just a hook that I can use up here and when the doors are closed this is a great place to hang my jacket on the inside but when the doors are open it just looks silly just hanging up here so I'm just storing it on the door right now while the doors are open um, there's my Jackery on the ground over there it's actually charging my other my little fake GoPro camera <laughs> um, and so over here I have foldable trekking poles for going hiking I have a blade right here it's a blade saw thing that just folds out I have my towel right here and like I said this is just extra lead for Mickey if I want to make his lead longer and give him a longer line to like you use outside so this is actually my trash can um this used to actually hold my cat stuff and then i realized it fit really good in this corner and it made a great trash can and my old trash cans weren't working so i turned this bin right here into a trash can on top of that we just have some of my workout dvds and an extra bag and this whole corner you can't see it real good but it's mostly storage so there's stuff like stored here um in this corner down here is actually my toilet bucket <laughs> so I usually have this available at night just popped up and then like I do my business in it and then I transfer my business <laughs> where it needs to go now not my number two business only my number one business but I like that it's collapsible if you look at my video about my three buckets you'll know how I handle those right things here these are my window covers for the side windows um this is actually my front window pop cover so it's an unfold cover that i'll show you in a second and then under here i also have these are netting for the front windows it actually will cover the whole window but um yeah <laughs> i don't use these that much right now i think this is something i'll use more on a campsite than i will in a city situation for a number of reasons but they do give some sort of dark tinting tinting effect to the window while still allowing the window to be open and let a breeze in and protect us from bugs so i really like those and the other thing i tend to keep in this is something i just bought i just bought a set of these just in case um when i went fishing with jelena i really I really wished we had a way to communicate especially since cell phone wasn't always dependable all the time and so I just picked up a set of these while I was in Walmart as you can see they haven't been out the package because I'm an anti-social dumbbell <laughs> I don't spend enough time with other people now I just installed these fans I have one here um on the smaller of my barn doors and this is a remote for the lights and this is a remote for the fan there's a repeat of the remote over there by the water um, and this window pops open so fresh air can get in here and then I have this fan it can go backwards it can go forwards I did a whole video on this fan so I'm not gonna talk too much about it but it basically gives me the second of my third fan configuration the first one being that fan there which can flip down it can either be pulling air out or pushing air in I have two wide windows obviously the front windows to open for that fan then I have this fan on the side doing airflow on this side which I think is pretty cool and this is the last of my fans which is in the back door towards the open area of my bed um, I kind of love these fans again this one can pull air in it can push air out and the window does pop open so there is airflow under there I can pull the window cover out or I can leave it in all of my window covers are made this way by the way they have a little bit of velcro on the window I actually could have went smaller just to hold up the corners and then I just velcro that on there this is basically reflectix with black contact paper on the back and the front and then I kind of tr trimmed it and um duct tape black duct tape 
just to hold it together and basically I just shove those in the window I can close the whole window not take the fan out still have the window cover in or open the window with the window cover in and I think if you take the window cover out you do get a little bit better airflow but there's plenty of space in there to bring some air in and then we have the fan that can circulate air so that's great love that setup so I basically stole this idea from Jelena and Jelena's van build and basically I have this netting um which i'm assume will help with some bugs but it's mostly so i can go back here get to storage and the cat doesn't have an open area to jump out of so when i have the other doors closed it does provide a good cat barrier more so than a bug barrier i mean it will prevent some bugs but not a lot um and that brings us over here to our electrics wall. One of my big projects is I want to clean this up, but I basically have 300 watts of solar on the roof. Down here, I have a 200 amp hour Renogy battery, just one solid battery. Um, it's a sealed battery, sealed AGM. That's the temperature gauge up there. Again, one of my big projects is to clean up all this electrical but over here i have my fuse block which is running to a number of things as you can see i do have things labeled i've gotten some criticism for that I, there are some i still need to put in there but i did start labeling th these that's going to be part of my cleanup is actually labeling the things <laughs> that aren't labeled i have a cell booster right here it's a, it's an any call cell booster uh looked like it was malfunctioning for a second but the, i have the any call cell booster it has helped me out is it magic and creating signal where there is none no but this has helped me out in a number of occasions so i love it but i'm going to stop pulling power because i'm not using internet right now and turn that off um then i have my charge controller right here this is a bluetooth battery monitor so it just I can pull an app up on my phone and it'll tell me how my battery is doing and up here is a battery charger so this means that I can plug into shore power and charge my battery as well this cord right here actually goes to this I could disconnect this if I wanted to um, and then this plug right here would just go out my back door I don't have a really fancy setup for shore power but this can just run out the back door and charge my battery and honestly it's so it's such a flat cord it takes up so little space there's already a gap there so it's not really a big deal I can run it out the back door have the door closed and be plugged in so right now this is basically open storage and the reason why there was no reason not to make it anything but open storage is this bike it's just awkward it's a folding bike <laughs> and basically everything that's shoved under here is in service for there being room for this bike <laughs> under here I never wanted a bike that had to hang out on the back of my van all the time 24 hours a day seven days a week no matter what the weather I would have this extension on the back of my van and so I really wanted a bike that I could store inside and so I got this folding bike and that's one of the reasons we created this huge open area under here it's so the bike could fit and so I have tools under here I have other exercise gear I just have miscellaneous stuff stored in here but it's all based on servicing space for the bike <laughs> Um, it could actually use some work, but that's why we created the storage and this storage is deep It goes all the way up to the cat wall underneath my bed And there's just an insane amount of stuff stored under so here. So right here behind Mickey's cat tree If I move this curtain that I hardly ever use anymore out the way there is a Fire extinguisher along with my fold-in stool and there's a tripod back there as well There's a small tri tripod bag but the main thing is I have this available, you know, away from the stove because I've heard all you guys just in case there's a stove created reason to need a fire extinguisher. I have a second one right here. So that's about all I got for my van tour as I've run out of sunlight and it, I haven't had dinner yet. See? No sunlight. <laughs> um, somebody me some dinner. Nick, Mickey's had his dinner. And he's kind of nodding off over there in his little cat tree. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys have been asking to see like what the inside of the van looks like. I do have some more projects coming up for the van. One of the reasons I'm still right now is to kind of get my life in an order. Um, yeah. 
That's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. So going by, you'll see a lovely list of my supporters. And you might be saying, Dawn, I'd love to support you, but I ain't got no extra money like that. Well, just know, subscribing to this channel, watching videos all the way through, liking, and sharing the video with others so there's even more likes and hopefully more subscriptions is just as important as contributing on Patreon or YouTube mem memberships. Also, you should see an image popping up of Mickey's channel. And if you are interested in my cat, think he's awesome, you can also subscribe to him. <laughs>